doesn't love a good old selfie? Welcome to Safe4TheGate.com and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 selfies of all time. We cannot afford to do top 10 right now, so you just have to deal with 5, okay? Anyway, coming in at number 5, Alan's Oscar selfie. Nice! Who doesn't remember this iconic selfie? This Samsung sponsored selfie was taken at the 2014 Oscars and it features celebrities like Ellen DeGeneres, Meryl Streep, Bradley Cooper, that guy from Advanced Warfare, and more. Number 4. The first selfie ever taken. This ancient self portrait was taken by Robert Cornelius and was believed to be the first selfie ever taken as it was captured over 200 years ago specifically in October 1839. Look at this handsome fellow. Number 3. The Monkey Selfie Who would have thought that this innocent looking selfie would be the subject of one of the most controversial copyright cases of all time? Well, all I know is that this monkey is looking fresh as hell. Wow, this list is already going quicker than I thought. Let's keep it up. For number 2. The Pen in a Selfie Wait, what is this? Okay. Yeah, but this is not a selfie though. Who wrote this list? Ho hold on, let me look this up. 15 Minchus later. Ah, uh, okay. Turns out it's more complicated than I thought. Alright, I guess I have to explain to you why this selfie is at number 2 on the list. So, here's the story of Ben Innes and his infamous selfie with a plain hijacker. To understand the context of this photo, we need to go back to the year 2016 when the Egypt Air Flight MS-181 hijack incident first happened. Here's a fairly condensed timeline of the event to make it easier for you and me to follow. On March 29th, in Alexandria, Egypt, the Egypt Air Airbus A320-200 departed from Bourg El Arab Airport at around 6.38 am local time and was scheduled to arrive at Cairo International Airport approximately 45 minutes later. In his plane, there were 46 passengers, plus 7 crew members and 1 security member. Among these passengers were Farah El Dibani, a famous Egyptian opera singer, Ben Innes, a soon-to-be-famous internet person, and a mysterious man with a suspicious-looking crest who hijacked the plane minutes after departure. At around 7.38 am, when the plane had not landed yet at its destination, the Egypt Air Twitter account tweeted that their MS-181 flight was officially hijacked. At around 7.50 am, the pilot was forced by the hijacker to reroute the plane from Cairo International Airport to Larnaca International Airport in Cyprus. At around 8.15 am, the plane landed safely at Larnaca International Airport. After this, an Egypt Air official forced the plane to negotiate with the hijacker. At around 8.46 am, Egypt Air tweeted the results of the negotiations where the hijackers allowed the release of most passengers but prohibited four foreign passengers and the plane crew from being released. Among these four passengers was Ben Innes, and he would end up doing something crazy. Now we don't know exactly when it happened, but between 10 am to 2 pm, Ben Innes decided to approach a flight attendant and ask if she could translate his request to take a picture of him with the hijacker. The flight attendant was confused at first, but then complied and asked the hijacker about the request. He was also confused at first, but then complied with the request. You want to take a photo with him? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, very, very gentle. Yeah, very gentle. I, I will take a photo. Okay. So they both get into position where one of the crew is holding the phone and it happened. The greatest photo of all time was captured. The flight attendant took advantage of this opportunity to also take a picture with the hijacker and the second greatest photo of all time was captured. After taking the photo, he sent it to his friends and basically brags about it. You know your boy doesn't f around. Turn on the news, lad! He also texted his mom during this, but he ended up not telling her about the photo because his mom told him not to do anything to draw attention to himself. Whoops, I guess it's already kind of late for that. 
By the way, during this whole photo shoot, the mysterious hijacker was identified as an Egyptian citizen named Saif Aldin Mustafa. It was later revealed that his motives were to meet his estranged wife in Cyprus and demand political asylum in the country. Finally, at around 1.54 p.m., the Egypt Air Twitter account officially declared that the rest of the hostages were released and then Saif Eldin Mustafa surrendered to the authorities. The 5 plus hour standoff comes to an end and the high-tech incident is over. To be honest, there are a lot of details about this incident that I decided to not go into because it would make this chapter way longer and is unrelated to the main topic of this video anyway. I could make a separate video talking about the whole incident someday, but for now let's shift our focus back to Ben because his story is not over yet. So, who is this Ben Innes guy? At the time of the event, Ben Innes was a 26-year-old British guy from Leeds who worked as a health and safety auditor. He studied at the University of York and got involved in a little bit of controversy there. In 2009, he was convicted of assaulting a man outside of a nightclub in York and was given a 12 month community and supervision order and was required to wear an electronic tag for 6 months. He was a bit of a troublemaker back then, but other than that, not much is known about Ben. When this photo was circulated on social media, no one really knew who this screening guy was. It was not until a few hours after the incident that Ben Inna's sister confirmed that he was her brother. In a now deleted tweet, she said, Only Ben could get a selfie. Hashtag proud, hashtag Egypt air. Within a few hours, the selfie went viral on social media and everyone was talking about it. And just like any viral photo, people immediately turned it into a meme. So what was his motive for the photo? In an interview with The Sun, he said, I'm not sure why I did it. I just threw caution to the wind while trying to stay cheerful in the face of adversity. I figured if his bond was real, I had nothing to lose anyway, so took a chance to get a closer look at it. And it does turn out that the bomb is not real. It's just a bunch of mobile phone cases and some wires to make it look like it had explosives. In another interview with BBC, he elaborated more on his reasons. So at this, at this point, I've got very little control and understanding of the situation. So it was a conscious decision on my part to, to try and make a, you know, to take some control and like influence that situation as best I can. I wanted to, uh, to interact with this guy. I wanted, um, I wanted him to understand that I wasn't a threat. With such a bizarre photo, there's bound to be some discussion about it. There's three sides of the coin here. On one side, some people said that his actions were legendary since he literally took a photo with a plane hijacker. One of Ben's friends said in an article, This is not a surprise at all. Ben is a wild man and this is totally in character for him. He was a big rugby guy and very to his danger and didn't have much respect for authority. On the other side, some people said that his actions were narcissistic since we were dealing with a potential threat. He should not be celebrated for capturing a great photo, he should be condemned for interfering with a hostage situation. I think it's a fair thing to think about considering how dangerous it would have been if the hijacker acted differently. And even though he claimed to have taken the photo to assess the situation, it doesn't seem like that in the title. Turn on, the news, on the middle side, there's people arguing whether this photo is a selfie or not, which is definitely the most important thing to discuss here. What is a selfie? According to Merriam-Webster, a selfie is an image that includes oneself, often with another person or as part of a group, and is taken by oneself using a digital camera, especially for posting on social networks. As you can see here, this is clearly not a selfie, because the photo was taken by someone else who was not present in the photo. A lot of people took issue with media outlets saying that this photo is a selfie, even though it's not. There are also other people who don't really care about the usage of the word selfie, since it's just a word. We can't even trust Ben's opinion about it, because one time he said selfie, it is, It's a great selfie. But other times he said photo. In that moment that photo was taken, I was thinking... His sister said that it was a selfie, but his mother said that it was not a selfie. So what's my stance on this photo? Well, I'm on the side that thinks the photo is doctored. Here's the real photo. A 
day after the Egypt Air hijack, he got into another little incident involving cameras. When he arrived at Manchester Airport with his mother, they got bombarded by people, including a camera woman from ITV News. They refused to answer questions and tried to leave the airport. When the camera woman walked beside them, he decided to grab her phone before he walked off with the phone and later returned it to the camera woman. Problem solved, I guess. After this, he did a bunch of interviews with various news stations. And that's it, really. There's not much happening after his overnight fame with the photo. Well, there is a rumor of Ben Innes being recruited as the next cast member of 2016 Celebrity Big Brother. But as far as I'm aware, nothing came of it. So, he just fell into obscurity. I guess Ben realized that the fame was just temporary and decided to lay low. Which is a good thing, I guess. Well, except in November 2018, when he got into the news again for being a stupid drum fool. Ben, who had been drinking for 17 hours, apparently unzipped his pants and exposed himself to a bus of women at Rose Street in Edinburgh. He then proceeded to urinate in their direction as they were sitting in a doorway. The terrified groups of women then quickly left the area and called the police. He then spent two nights in custody before appearing at Edinburgh Sheriff Court and pleaded guilty to the crime. Ben was fined £720 for his behavior. Well, I guess old habits die hard, huh? And that's the story of Ben Innes and his photo with a plane hijacker. It's interesting to see how a single photo can generate so much discussion about it. We live in an era where one can easily take pictures with their devices and share them on the internet for everyone to see. And some go to extra lengths to stand out a little bit more to get noticed. We've seen a lot of dangerous selfies that people took throughout the years. A lot of them go out of their way to climb these high structures or unsafe places and try to take the most breathtaking photos ever. The photo that Ben in a stoop with the hijacker might end up not being that dangerous. But imagine if the bomb ended up being real, or if the hijacker decided to do something that would threaten the safety of the people that are still on the plane. You can see why some people think that his actions are inherently selfish. I do think there's a bit of self-aligning to this story, as Ben said it himself in interviews. I also just thought, I want, if the worst does come to the worst, you know, I want my family and my friends to know that, you know, I died how I lived, you know, having, having as much fun as I can and making the best out of every situation I'm in. Basically, this all boils down to how social media has so many impacts on our lives, be it good or bad, and how we should use it wisely. In layman's terms, we should just stop getting addicted to social media pills like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Uber, and Photoshop. Wait, what was I doing before? Oh yeah, the top 5 list. Anyway, coming in at number 1, the death script selfie. Okay, so that's it for our top 5 selfies of all time. Do you agree with our list? Which selfie do you think is the best? Stay tuned for our next video where we talk about our picks for the top 5 Skibidi Toilet characters. Have a good day everyone. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.